Broadcasting live from the Vegas Video Network studios, just steps from the Las Vegas Strip, it's Talk Tales! And now our host, she's our very own kaleidoscope of talent! What? It's Kelly Clinton! Welcome to Talk Tales, everyone, on the Vegas Video Network. I am your host, Kelly Clinton hyphen Holmes. Thank you so Oh, yeah, boy. I just did a show at the Sun Coast, and man, are my arms tired. That doesn't, that's not how it goes, is it? OK, um, I'm so excited. First of all, I'm still high from Saturday night at the Sun Coast. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later, Freckles for Life, one woman show with 15 people in it. And, um, but it was so much fun. I miss my props. But anyway, today we have uh, another female entertainer. She's gorgeous. The guys in the studio are all, is there anything I can get you? Can I get you something? You want some honey jacks? Can, can, can I rub your feet? Can I? Anyway, you'll understand in a few minutes, because she's absolutely gorgeous and so talented. She's, she's done so many things, and I can't wait to talk to her about them. Right now, yesterday, just yesterday, she did a show with a group called Paparazzi. There's three powerful singers. We'll get into that. She's also the newest member of the Shintas, ladies and gentlemen. We have Janine Valentine. <laughs> See how smart she is, Scott? She didn't jump up when I said her name and come running over here. So many, oh, look how pretty. She's, she, right? Yeah. Right. He'll say anything right now. You're all in love. Uh, anyway, before we meet gorgeous Janine Valentine, we're going to meet another gorgeous gentleman right now. In fact, he is an orchestra, all in one person. We also call him Bowtie Daddy. Say hello to Kenny Davidson. Hello. The Talk Tales Orchestra. I'm your biggest fan, I'll follow you until you love me. Oh, and Papa, he's singing to me? Papa Rossi, oh. baby. I'm great. How How's are you? Show? My show went really well. I'll tell you all about it. I know you couldn't come because you're gigging. You're the gig meister. Mm -hmm. you, how was your Friday night first? Friday of all? night was fantastic. We were slammed. It was great. You were slammed. Who's yes. your guest next Friday? This week we have Amanda Avila. She is fr formerly of American Idol and former backup Ooh. singer of Smokey Robinson, Ooh. currently the dancing queen and Broadway celebration. Can we all say, New York, New York. Ooh, 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 can it get all fancy and stuff? Mm -hmm. And where were you Saturday when you weren't at my show? I was sleeping. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> that didn't stop the people that came to my show from coming. <laughs> Your parents were there, so they representing you. But they're, you were gigging. They have more energy than I. You were gigging, right? You were making I money. Was gigging, yes, yeah, make I was. the story I was better. Because I'll come right over there, you know. Don't <laughs> don't make me come over there. Um, anyway, Kenny Davidson, you can catch him at Don't Tell Mamas and the Tuscany on Friday nights. Correct. All right, now I want to say ho, say ho. <laughs> ho, I want to say ho. Easy now. To my friend Scott Whitney, who created this whole Vegas video. Yes, Network. I did. Hello, Scott. Kelly. Hey, we got to say hi to Jacob, too. Let's give Jacob a little love right there. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Look, look at that. All huh. right, Scott. First of all, I, on the behalf of all men, we are not happy <laughs> that all what? women make all men sound stupid. Well, when you say it, we sound like this. Well, but then can I go with you? Well, <laughs> I didn't we say We don't talk like that, and we're sick of hearing that. I know your wife does that to you. because yes, I was she on, does. I was on your show. You helped me promote my show, and, and you said that she does that. And, and I have done that to you as well. But it is true that very intelligent men who are, you know, very smart and articulate suddenly do that. No, some, yes. they don't. You may not do that all day <laughs> no. when you're, no. you know, saying I'm no. Scott Whitney from the no. Vegas Man. Then you go, I did. No, we don't. <laughs> you're really good, no. Janine. <laughs> I really think you're wonderful. 
it's, it's, we're going to miss you a lot, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> I'm didn't want, sorry. Didn't want to have to tell you, but first, you have a five minute show. Oh, hell, we're done. Oh, no. Anyway, I want to thank you for helping me promote my show. And, <laughs> and Jacob was there on behalf of Vegas Video Network filming the show. Yep. Thank you. Can't wait to see it. And you were also a very big part of the opening video that almost was. Yes, I heard. I can't tell you how excited I was about our project that we put together with Reva Rice and Tara Palsha and Jerry Jones and, and your magical stuff that you added to it that just made it so great. And the show started the other night and we had practiced everything, ran the video, it all went perfectly two days in a row until it was showtime. Mm. So we left a few people going, what was that? Because we never got to our punchline. Yeah. So, I don't know, what do you think, Scott? About what? Just or tell or me should I say, you... about what? What? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, but I called some as I see some. But anyway, listen, Scott. First of all, did you have a good time at my show? I like the pretty lights in here. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. You know what? You got to the show late because you had a very a wonderful celebration. Where were you? You were not here. I was in Boston to watch my daughter graduate from Harvard Law School. There we go. Now that's, that's the kind of stuff you got to celebrate. And by the way, she couldn't have done that if her dad sounded like this all well, the time. you know, sometimes it skips a generation. That's yeah. not. Okay. Okay, Kelly. Anyway, you know, you know I think you're smart. I'm in charge of the lighting and the buttons here. And the sound okay. and the wide screen. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, you know I think you're smart, and I pretty much respect you. <laughs> now, you know I do. That's why we came to you for the video. So, what do you think? Before we bring <laughs> Janine Valentine to the show, do you think we should run our video and let yes, it finish? Yes, we should absolutely yeah? do that. Everybody Let's... agree on this? Yes. Yeah. Everyone in? Everyone in? Go ahead. Here we go. Post felt really bad about it, too, so, you know, it was just a technical thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. What's going on? Oh, oh no. man. No. Is this the, wait, this isn't the song goes. Let's uh, do it right, kids. Uh, Come on. To the 2013 <laughs> Super Bowl <laughs> Halftime <laughs> Show, starring Beyonce!
apocalypse. It's apocalypse. What people? La ladies, ladies, ladies. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. We've lost power, and not just on stage, in the whole stadium. In the whole oh my stadium. God. I'm what? kidding. What is this? I thought this was like an professional event no, no. here. Just... Listen, I'm sorry. Hey, look, it's going to be about 30 minutes or so. So go ahead and, and just relax. Take it easy. My feet are killing me. How long? God, I need a like drink. This? He said, "Relax." I'm all taking right, my wig right. off. Can I go get a cigarette? Sure. God, we were killing it. Weren't we killing it? Yeah. Turn the lights out. They out. were loving us, too. Take your oh, shoe God. off, Michelle. Oh, my button is killing me, so you know the shoe is off. Oh, <laughs> honey. Oh, I am totally Oh, they're going to start the show now, I guess. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll get us ready to come. Oh, uh, ladies, we're still on the air. We're still on the air. What? <laughs> oh, God. 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 Oh, God. mercy. Oh, honey, your hair. Your hair. Your hair. Your hair. hair. Oh, 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 Thank you, all of you who were a part of it. Thank you to Terry Jenkins and all the folks at the Sun Coast. And by the way, before we go to commercial break, and welcome back, Janine Valentine, don't forget to go to the Smith Center this coming weekend to see Clint Holmes, <laughs> Baccarat, Beatles, and beyond. Special guest, Kristen Hertzenberg from Phantom of the Opera. Don't miss it. We'll be right back with sexy, hot, talented Janine Valentine. Three, two, one. Oh, I need to come up with something funny to no, say. Geez. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> but the co-host. Really, you? I, I have to say watch it. Well, we're, I'm doing. That's how you do it. You better really? watch it. There okay. you go. I got it. We? We're, we we are the odds couple. Hi, my name is Scott Pritchard. And I am Anthony Padilla. You're watching the Vegas Video Network. You are. You are. We are, too. Oh, do I look okay? Do I look up? Was that my inner voice or my outer voice? I don't know. Wow, that, I felt powerful. <laughs> welcome back to Talk Tales. I am your host, Kelly Clinton hyphen Holmes, and I want to welcome our special guest, not only from a group called Paparazzi, but the newest member of the Shintas, performing at the D. That's Paparazzi right there. And uh, there, there you go. There's the Shintas. Please welcome Janine. Valentine! Thank you. Look at her. Isn't she fabulous? I have so much to live up to. That introduction was just wild. Oh, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> Even if she didn't say a word, she'd be fine. <laughs> but you are one of my favorite entertainers. Aw, thank you. One of the best singers I've ever heard. Oh, seriously. Oh, wow. And thank funny you. lady, great actress. How do you do it all? Wow, um, <clears throat> drugs, coffee, yeah, what I, you know, right. whatever, whatever spur Tell the moment. Tell the kids how to do it. <laughs> Don't do that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. She's, we Ooh. talked her into Ooh. some Honey Jack. That, that's Scott Whitney, your special powers. Okay, Ooh. so you just did a show uh, with paparazzi. Tell I everyone did. what paparazzi is. Oh, wow, paparazzi is uh, myself, uh, tenors George DeMont, Cody Sean Gay, and uh, we do a little pop, a little opera, a little classical uh, we put the, the um, pop twist on, well, you know, the whole popra genre? Sure. We, that's kind of what we're embracing, a little like Il Devo-esque kind of thing. But uh, the two boys wanted, uh, they had a quartet that wasn't quite working, so they dismembered that. That sounds they horrible. They dismembered them. <laughs> All right, so we're still looking for them. And I, they, got it, they, kept, they kept themselves out of jail after that incident. I'm not sure how. <laughs> uh, and then uh, they came looking for me. And... Um, and I think, then I the, think then Bill the Fain trouble. actually referred me. Well, our let dear me tell you something Fain. right now. Bill Fain might have done that, but so did Clint Holmes and Kelly Clinton Holmes. Well, you know, you guys, you guys gave me a good referral for uh, the well, Shintas, which is hilarious well, because I've known the family forever. Right. And they've seen me perform in most venues, especially with Clint show. Oh, yeah, they just wanted to and make sure And then they needed sure to call you, and be like, yeah. is she a total psychopath or what? Exactly. And you though. said yes, and then well, they knew yeah, it would said, fit in. Yeah, but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they do call because it is a relationship. You know, these yeah. are, these are, you're, they're your family. Yeah. Right? You they spend are. a lot of and time. And they're, they're, they're really special. And I mean that in a, in a nice way, not in a short bus way. <laughs> <laughs> the short bus. There we go again. No. Scott. Scott. Anyway, just Scott. kidding. No, but it, seriously, when you're in a group like Paparazzi or the Shintas, you are, you're, you're together a lot. Yeah. You work together. You're going to travel together. Now, with paparazzi, before we go back to the Shintas. I know. It's paparazzi, confusing. I know you're, 
At one time, Janine was in Peep Show, Nonsense, Nonsense. Paparazzi, <laughs> so many different shows, and you're a mom. And I kid. raise my own kids. I really yeah. and truly raise my own children, yeah. I promise. There's no yeah. nanny. So I've, I've right. been sleep deprived for about 10 years. I haven't been out in any social engagements, with you can, which you can attest to, in about 10 years. Now they're getting a little bit older, so I can go out and have a couple of cocktails. <laughs> well, seriously, this is, this is uh, just to keep yourself in shape, Keep your voice in shape. Yeah, you have you've to. Got, you've got to sleep and rest and it's all Vegas, that Vegas, baby, though. you got to look good if you want to keep working, right? And you do. Thanks. You look fabulous. And we actually saw you in, in Peep Show, too. You did, right yeah. before I left, like a couple days, I think, yeah. before I left. You called me up, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. And, and, you, and then we had um, the star of Peep Show on, my, my new best friend. You did? You had Coco? Coco. She's awesome. She was here. I love her. Yeah. She's Gorgeous. a doll. And you're about the same height, aren't you? We are, yes. How tall aren't you? I'm, I am not 5'2". <laughs> <laughs> but I fit in. This is the funny part is that, I mean, I've, I've had a, I have a beautiful resume. I have no complaints working with your husband, of course, yes. one of the highlights of my Vegas career. And, but now with singing with paparazzi, the boys are 6'2 and 6'3. Mm -hmm. And then singing with the Shintas. And I want to be kind since they are um, my bosses, but they say they're about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, <laughs> <laughs> Ish. So yeah, it's, it's uh, the two extremes. It's quite fun. So you're you're very tall in that group. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding too. Yeah. You know how much I love you. But uh, paparazzi, yeah, you're they're they're very tall and you're little. And it makes doesn't it make you feel good though? You feel like big strong men are uh, right. Handling me, yes. Big yes. strong men are handling me. I love it. Now <laughs> I got to see. I, I didn't get to come to the show. Just yesterday, you were at the You can the come Starbucks. next time. We're going to be at Anthem, and the, the theater and the Anthem there. Forgive me, I don't know the... I don't know the, exactly What a good plug the, I'm giving. The Anthem Theater. The Anthem Theater, we'll June 30th. June 30th. At 3 o'clock, which is also my birthday. And I oh. request that you bring gifts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're trying to sell out a showroom, just the fact that they're buying the ticket is the gift. Right, so that's very true. Please come either way, with gift or without. <laughs> But paparazzi is traveling all over, and you're singing with huge pop we orchestras, do, Yeah, right? we do symphony orchestras all across North America. We've done Atlanta twice. They love us there. We love Atlanta. We've done Detroit. Love Detroit. Their audiences are stellar. Uh, uh, Houston, uh, Edmonton, Jacksonville. Uh, we've, we've run the gamut. It's been, uh, it's been a quite a fun ride, I have You love to say. it? Do you love having a gigantic I love orchestra? having 80 pieces behind me. There is no feeling that gives you more of a high than that. Did you it's say 80? 80. That seems high. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, our orchestra here at Talk Tales is how many, how many are in uh, the orchestra here? Uh, 88 keys. 88, 88 keys. Nice. One guy. See? So that's got to feel a good looking guy. He does have brains. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Her, it's gonna, yeah, it'll be Janine hosting talk to us <laughs> starting next week. I don't think I'm available, actually. <laughs> yeah, there's no time. She can't okay. do it. But do, do you feel like you're actually in heaven when you're singing in front of the orchestra? I, you know, I, it's the most fun I've ever had. I mean, even singing that genre of music, because I actually started when I was geez, like 13, started being trained classically. I was, mm -hmm. And switching from that and going to, uh, I had a professional jazz singer as a teacher, and then I got my first record contract at 16 with pop. Really? And clearly went nowhere and did nothing <laughs> since I'm here with you. No. Hey, <laughs> I don't know what, she didn't mean it that way. But no, but you know. Like if sitting with myself. If I was uh, Kelly Clarkson, I, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't know. You might be able to get Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Let's work you on that. Know. We got, you never we got know. Coco. You got Coco. Right? And okay. Taylor Hicks, right? Is that his yeah, name? Yeah, Taylor Hicks. Very Lots cool. big stuff. See? But the you point know. of your story was, let's oh, take your foot out of your mouth right now. <laughs> All right, let's remove foot from mouth. Uh, you, I don't have a point. You, you started, you, you had all these, these coaches over the years for I different did. genres yes. of music. Did you like singing classical music at that age? No. When I was not 13, at all. I didn't. Not at all. Yeah. But I, it kind of, it just kind of veered over into musical theater, which was, uh, you know, a ton of fun because you could be anyone in musical theater. So I did that for many years. Went to Nag University, got my Bachelor of Fine Arts in musical Woo! theater and all that stuff. And then uh, in my first, actually, my first audition in New York was for a show in, in Vegas called Starlight Express. That's right. So that's what brought me to Vegas, and I've been here 18 years. Wow. 18 years. And you've been in several other really big productions since then. I saw you in. 
Men are from Mars. Mm -hmm. Women is that how? Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Women are from Venus. Yeah. You were fabulous. And that was only you. a cast of four, right? That was, uh, I think, eight or eight or small, ten. It was small, small cast. It was a small cast. Yeah. Big stage, small cast, and and Starlight Express and. What, and, uh, Notre Dame de Notre Paris, Dame yeah, a couple of world premiere musicals, which was a ton of fun to do, just, just to be the shows. template for for somebody to you know construct the the dialogue and, and every, you know the, the songs and everything around you is is, uh, is pretty fantastic. Oh, is, is that so? Yeah, yeah. Really? And I did Carmen at the La Jolla Playhouse. That was in Vegas, though. It was La Jolla Playhouse, but that was with uh, Franco Dragon, who's one of the founders of uh, Cirque. of Cirque, who is now on his own. I have to say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, he was the director of that. What was so. it like working with him? I mean, those, I think I'd rather play the fifth on that. Time. Okay. Uh, All right. And I'm sure he's watching the show right oh, now. <laughs> so he's terrific. He's Good awesome, for you. Franco. Love you, babe. Yeah. Now, do you prefer? <laughs> I'm trying to like. I'm trying to save her. Okay. Do you... We definitely had a love-hate relationship. It's all good. Wow. It's all good. That's that goes on with actresses and directors. <laughs> and do you? You're such a great actress Thank as well. You. Did you study acting and dance as well? I did. Well, I studied dancer. dance first, actually. That was my first before uh, singing. Before singing, I started dance when I was five because I was a chubby little kid. My mom was like, "We gotta get this girl in shape." Can you believe so, that? Can you believe she was a little, little chubby, and then, yeah. and then she blossomed. I blossomed. I was like the butterfly into a diva. <laughs> Bam! So your mom put you in dance class. Yes. So dance since I was five, but uh, acting always was, you know, was part of it. I mean, mm -hmm. you acted the the dance, and then get got into singing, and you act the song, and so that was always part of it. But uh, but I, d I just love it all. I want to do it all forever. So. Well, that's that's the thing is it's like you do so many things well. You can't possibly just do a singing gig or just do a show. You got to do it all. I got to do it all. What's your favorite? You just love it all the it's, same. No, it's definitely singing. Definitely singing. I can but see uh, that. but I would I would love to uh, be in the motion picture someday. Anyone out there? Absolutely. <laughs> they all watch. Oh, that was a little clip from a movie you did called Siren. Yes, that was a fun one. Do you know several that? Years ago. I don't know if you know this, but I was in that movie as well. You were? <laughs> <laughs> I guess she only watched her part. <laughs> I, I don't like watching myself. That's oh, the whole. Oh, see, I, I could watch myself oh. all day, right, Clint? No. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I, I just carry mirrors with me. I go, how are you doing, Carol? But anyway, that's not true for the most part. Okay, but I, I was actually, there was a shot that you did. Now, your husband, see, I'm all over the place with you. you. Okay. Your husband was a, was a part of that movie, yes. right? He was mm -hmm. the director, right? He was, yes. The director. And Michelle the casting Fiori. Couch. That's right. how I got the, ah. how, got the part, casting couch. See, now. <laughs> I don't recommend it. She slept with the director. She starred in the movie. I just hmm. kissed him on the cheek and had one scene. Hey. <laughs> no, but I was in a scene where they came over to the open mic and we had her That's come up. right. And now I remember. It was really okay at the time. But it's she cool. came up and sang song. But anyway, yeah, yeah. you were terrific in that Thank movie. Thank you. And I loved it. Thanks. I loved it. And then, do you remember? Oh, no. Do you remember how much fun we almost had working together? How much fun we almost had. Remember what happened? Yeah, I remember what happened. <laughs> you tell them. Oh, geez. We were both cast. We were both cast in Nonsense, and uh, I was going to be Robert Ann, and you were going to be Sister Amnesia. And um, Amnesia was uh, over rehearsing, I think. <laughs> 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 over preparing, possibly. In showing the living room on the tile floor with Not that nuns shoes. should have a husband, but, you know, right? performing for her husband. And yeah, showing him had a little spill. Huh? And then I got the call, and they were like, hey, Janine, do you mind just completely switching gears and being amnesia instead because Kelly's out? Well, not everybody can do that. She <laughs> knew both parts. You had played amnesia before, right? I did. You know, I used to do uh, Art Park and Art Park at the Church, which was back. It's a beautiful facility, Art Park, which is uh, in Niagara Falls, New York. So going to Niagara University led me to, they have right. a huge facility. It's like thousands, like 2,500, 3,000 seats, whatever it is, it's huge. They open the back and you can like sit and have a little picnic and uh -huh. drink your wine and watch oh, how cool. a huge production show, Broadway caliber shows and stuff. So they had that, then they had this little offshoot, which was uh, our park at the church. So I did lots of shows there and I did uh, two seasons and I did Robert Ann and oh, I you did, did Amnesia. both characters. So that's what happened was we were yeah. about two and a half weeks into the rehearsal and we were trouble. Because, you know, we, we had the connection across the room. <laughs> we were like, this is so much fun. Awesome. You and I have always wanted to work with you. 
so I met great. you when you were working with Clint. Yeah. And then snap, my foot broke. I was out, she was in, I was in the audience. <laughs> Anyway, and you were terrific. Then I got Thank to come you. back and, then, yes. and break my foot again. But anyway, it's not about me. It's about Oh. You. All right, let's cut to your time with Clint Holmes at okay. Harrah's. Mm -hmm. You starred in the show. You were his featured female vocalist. Oh, well, she, she, yes. I loved it. I, I, it's, he, he stole me, actually, from Mars Venus. Oh, he's Yes, I, oh, I left Mars so? Venus. It was still running. And, <gasps> uh, and he, yeah. Did you upset the made people me an, at Mars? It made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Wow, Clint Holmes. <laughs> yeah. Were they upset with you when so, you left? Oh, yeah. They tried to get me back what? several months into my contract with Clint. Well, not that we had a contract. We're from Buffalo. We sign in blood. We're like, whatever. <laughs> you go, are you going to do it? You're going to do it or not. All right, hey, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, they kept trying to court me and bring me back. Oh, I didn't I never know that part. That, but oh, obviously. He didn't, he didn't know that part. No. Movie. Anyway, you were Fabulous. Thank you. I show. loved it so much. You're such a terrific such singer. Such a great, I mean, the, obviously Clint is, is, there's, you know, no one like him. He's definitely a, a unique talent. But that, with Bill Fane and, and the band that they put together, which is now oh. comprised mostly of Santa Fe, Santa Fe. Um, just absolutely stellar. It's just had magical. the time of my life. It yeah. was great. Yeah. Okay, now let's go because I know the Shinches are watching. Yeah, they are. So, of course they are. So one of the Shinches, our friend Chrissy Shinta, mm -hmm. Had has something happening with her vocal cords, yes. which is a nightmare for a singer. It's, have yeah. you ever had? Have you ever? You can knock on my head if you'd like to do the wood thing. <laughs> I'm have you in. ever <laughs> had a thing? No, little. Uh, it it little? was not due to singing though. I went on a little juicing diet, and uh, and I and because of the acid and all the juice, I developed a little. Um, I don't know what it was. A polyp or it was. I don't, they called it something else, but anyway. So that fortunately went away. But that was. That was scary in itself. They're like, you need two weeks of silence. And I was like, I have children I have to yell at. Like, I can't. <laughs> this is not a dog. And a husband I have to yell at. Like, this is exactly. not going to happen. So, yeah, that was uh, horrific in itself. So, Chrissy, yeah. I, you know, when Frankie called me, I said, uh, of course, I'd love to, you know, be the newest uh, piece of Shinta. And... Uh, <laughs> That's which is my parents always said that. You're like, we always knew you were a piece of Shinta. Um, <laughs> But I said, first and foremost, my, my prayers go with Chrissy yeah. because I can't imagine losing that part oh, of yeah. yourself because it, it is such a big part of, of who she, she is. such a great singer, And a too. great human being. And yeah, so. Beautiful lady. So and prayers for her yeah, prayers always. Yeah, for Chrissy because yeah. she's still healing. And, yeah. uh, and then the Shintas worked with another friend from Buffalo, right? And then they got the, the D. They are at the yes. D. How many nights a week? Five nights a week, every night, but uh, Monday and Tuesday. So yay, there we are. Come and see there us. It's, go. it's uh, you know, the Shintas are putting a little new twist on it because I'm, you know, because it's me and I'm, yeah, so now I'm a little fiery. I, you know, I'm Sicilian as they are. I'm from Buffalo as they are. It's, uh, it's so definitely. So you can handle a, them, I, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I can so hear you and them. a few Italian. And I'm guys. getting a couple of pointers from Mama Shinta. She's actually she is oh, quite an amazing woman. The, she saw me the first time she saw me sing with you know it's her family of course and she's amazing and lovely and the first time she she heard me sing with uh, with her boys and she said uh, she goes you're such a little bitch I didn't know <laughs> how good you were. <laughs> See, then you're and like, I was like, I love loves you. Me. And then she pinched my tushy. No lie. Hey. And so she, I'm totally in with the family. <laughs> and she's an actress, too. She was, wasn't she in the show that you were in? Well, no, you were in, you were in The Sopranos, yeah, right? Like, yeah. Okay. And she was in the <laughs> Tony and Tina's She did Tony wedding. and Tina's with my husband for a minute. My oh, husband did so? it for a minute. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he was in that, yes. too. Should we say Phil Valentine? Phil Valentine, my little, husband. Yes, he did. Uh, Phil Valentine, filmmaker extraordinaire. Right. Um, yeah, he did. Uh, he did Mama a little, Oh, that's cool. I know it's all in the family. So you're having fun. I'm having a great time. They're gonna kind of specialize some things for you coming. Yeah, up? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I've been told that we're gonna tweak things and uh, probably incorporate my sassy, saucy self. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you're, 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 you're. Hey, you were at my <laughs> show the other night. I was at your show. Ooh. Now, yes, loved it. I want to tell you how much that meant to me. Oh, you. you're so that sweet. That was sweet. I'd finally been off on it. I mean, I'm always working, and I was like, it hey. It was date night. It was date night with my husband and I, and I said, honey, I want to see Kelly. How about that? Yay. Hello. And that it was, was lovely and fun and funny. and. So uh, the other day, we worked together, and, and I touched a bald man's head, because that's what I do. That's what you do. And I said, 
It's like a fresh peach. I love you it. You said, I'm going to steal I'm that totally line. I'm totally going to steal that Will line. Will you be stealing any of my other stuff from my show? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. There's, I was thinking about the whole show. I there's thought, so much hey, good stuff. She might use this, too. I actually did. At my show at Starbright yesterday, I actually <gasps> came out at one point, and, and, I, and I said, uh, I go, all right, we're going to change it up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you've seen paparazzi <laughs> before, but I'm actually going to do a little stand-up. I've been inspired. <laughs> I saw Kelly Clinton the other night. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. It, you, did you, you didn't say my name at all. And I, I did. You did? I plugged you, yeah, Thank you. of course. I've been plugged What are friends? Valentine. Thank you so what much. What are friends for but a little plug now and again, you know? Thank you. Yeah. And I, I will plug you back. Oh. I'll tell you that right <laughs> You're now. so kind. I love being plugged. <laughs> You're very kind. Thank you so, so much. So someday when we work together on something like where I, my foot's not broken and we're actually on the stage. And my foot's not in my mouth. Exactly. Yay! Hey, maybe that's what we'll call the show. <laughs> Something like that. Foot, anyway, foot in the wrong place. How about that? That sounds good. Will you sing for me now? Us, wow. We, okay. all of us? Is that a good I thing? I haven't even Wait, had any cocktails yet. Here, have a little honey <laughs> jack. Have we promoted everything we need to? The Shintas? The Shintas of the D, yes. Paparazzi coming Paparazzi, up. Paparazzi, uh, Anthem, June 30th. And, uh, uh, any, you got your website. My, we got well, I think they, they're posting everything for yeah, me, right? Everything. Scott's on it. All right. He's the man. <laughs> nice. Thank you for that. You sound, you know, awful lot like my husband, actually. <laughs> All right, moving right Just kidding, right honey. Along. My foot is still in my mouth. It's been great okay. having a show this year. <laughs> well, a whole year I made it. Sing anyway. A song, please. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, Janine. And, and we're going to feature you and Kenny right now. You worked a little something up before the show. We did. Took my love and I took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills where the landslide brought me down. Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? Can the child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean tide? Can I handle the season of my life? I'm sure you can purchase these at their show, uh, June, June 30th. 30th. And my husband's new Anthem. film, Women of War. We're going to get Clint to sing on this one as well. So go and stream this, everybody. We're going to give this to her, too. Thanks for watching Talk Yay! Tales. Thank you, Janine Valentine. My pleasure. Thanks thank for having Sally me. Thank you, Sally, for coming and bringing your beautiful granddaughter. And, and thank you all for being here. We'll see you next time. Will you sing a little more? Sing us out. Well, I've been afraid of. I built my life around you, around you, but time makes you older, children get older, I'm getting older too, well I'm getting older too, so I took my love and I took it down.